Hi guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Honest Try TV. It's day six on our Panama Canal cruise for 11 days on the Norwegian Gem, and we are currently in the Panama Canal. Um, I'll be happy to show you some footage throughout the day. We have a historian on board who's narrating commentary about the canal as we make our way. Um, it is quite crowded, so I'm going to do my best to get some decent shots despite the crowd. I'm currently at the rear of the ship on the 12th deck, um, 13th, sorry, 13th deck, rear, here, here's where I'm sitting, got the uh, tennis court slash basketball court behind me, and unfortunately you can't see all the detail because right below me is Garden Cafe and the seating is covered right now, shaded, so I'm going to go down there and see what I can see, but don't forget to like and subscribe, leave any comments, questions, recommendations down below, and let's go! All of the original equipment is still operational, except for the locomotives, the tugboats, and the third locks, inaugurated in June 2016. The Panama Canal has certain peculiarities inherent only to the Panama Canal. For example, due to the location and the configuration of the country of Panama, east is west and west is east in the canal. Let me explain. The canal runs from northwest to southeast. The canal, therefore, is more east than west. Panama City is on the Pacific side of the Isthmus and the only city on the American continent that the sun rises on the Pacific and sets on its Navy Admiral, was commander of the U-2 base while stationed in Panama. Alright, so I'm inside the Spinnaker Lounge on the 13th floor, forward. You can also watch um, our progress from in here, and they're also showing it on a television widescreen there on stage. So my dad was having a hard time standing, so we're inside in the Spinnaker Lounge sitting down watching our progress. And you can also grab some food and bring it back here if you wanted to have breakfast. Alright, so I am heading with my mother. We came down to the 12th floor. We're heading across the pool. And we're going to go grab some breakfast to take back and eat in the Spinnaker Lounge. Uh, it looks like they're also selling items out here on the deck right now. The pool is closed. It is 6 in the morning, so... I don't know if anybody's excited to go swimming this early. But right through here should be the Garden Cafe. Alright, so they've actually got grab and go sandwiches so that you can just pick up your food. Of course, they have the traditional offerings as well. Um, etc etc but if you wanted to because I was just whining like I wish there were trays I wish there was a way to easily and conveniently pick stuff up and take it but it seems like they've come up with an even better solution which is grab and go breakfast sandwiches and burritos so just think for a minute so we're gonna grab some food and take this it back to Spencer for my for us so and for my dad so here's some footage of us entering, so I'm back on the uh, 13th floor, just below the observation deck, and I'm just going to take a peek through the side without dropping my phone so you can see where we are. So we're just entering the lock, and as you can 
can see we've already got it on either side here you can't even see it's so close the construction of this canal by the u.s took 10 years to complete but 35 years total the purchase was authorized by the Spooner Law of Congress in 1902. The U.S. paid $40 million to the French and $10 million to Panama. All right, guys, I'm back inside. It was starting to get really the hot out does there. Um, does it's hard to get footage because oh. they're playing music in between each. Um, announcement that the uh, historian is the making water, about the, the canal. So, <laughs> water from um, the lake back inside, joining my parents. Higher. And also, it's hard to see. Like, we're moving into Move the first chamber the now. And um, first chamber, it's really difficult to get a good perspective of our progress. And finally, unless we're looking at the screen. Chamber. So here, I'll show you. Once the water level is there we are. the same, the gates will open electrically. And by the way, if like the gates see do the, not open electrically, the they can be opened manually. When you're standing outside. Um, so it's hard. Basically, when you're outside, all you see your, is yourself progressing forward which is still something, but um, I just want to be, you know, give some perspective as to how much you're able to see because it's so massive. Like, it's just hard to take it in from, you know, any particular vantage point. Maybe from the rear of this ship I can try and see if I can get some footage so you can get that perspective as well. But anywho, I'm back in Svenniker, and I'm going to hang out here until we enter, finish entering the first chamber. And then I'll go to the rear of the ship, and let's see what that looks like. All right, guys, we are moving into the first chamber. Again, I'm holding on to my phone for dear life. And there is the gate, so you can see us just passing into the first gate. Let's see if I can turn it this way and show you. Oh. No. Coming from this door. Again, holding onto my phone for dear life. That's behind us. And, oh, Lord. How to protect the phone. And this is in front of us. Holding, holding, holding. Yeah. And there it is. We're moving very, very, very slowly into this first chamber. Okay, guys, I'm back outside on the 13th floor. I basically just came out the Spinnaker Lounge down there and came outside to get off the runway. And I'm walking along the deck to the rear of the ship. As you can see, I can't even catch up to the lock. Like, we're moving about walking pace um, into the chamber still. So I'm walking, and I've been walking beside the gate entrance pretty much the entire time. I'm starting to pass it now. I'm going to see if I can get another view from the rear. Um... But this is about the pace that we're going, you know, it's me walking. Um, let's see if I can get some views from the rear of us entering the chamber. So we're back here at the, uh, the tennis courts. Okay, so I just came around the corner here. Tennis basketball courts, the rock climbing walls up there, and I am in the rear of the ship. Unfortunately, this kind of cover thing is blocking me from having a really good view right now. Um, but yeah, that's where we came from. 
previously we were that guy that ship out out there waiting to come in that was us earlier today when I started filming and so this is where we are now just entering the first chamber um, in the position of the ship that we were watching previously I'm gonna go down one level, which is uh, the Garden Cafe is just below. I'm gonna go down and see if I can get um, a better shot of us from the rear. Thank you so much. Okay, just trying to get a good shot here. Thank you. All right, guys. So I just got some shots from down here. This is behind the Garden Cafe got breakfast out and you can also grab a really good seat to see the rear of the boat as we enter into the locks. I tried to get a shot but it's pretty crowded over there. So. I just came through the art gallery. I am on the walking towards midship from the rear and I'm entering the atrium and they have a huge screen up here where they're showing our progress through the canal and people are seated down more comfortably here by Starbucks and the bar watching our progress through the canal from this vantage point. So you can also see it here. It's kind of, I don't want to say, I mean there's different benefits to seeing it from different perspectives. I'm going to go outside and see if I can get a view of the gate. We're about to enter the second chamber. Alright, so I just came outside. We're off in the atrium. Let me show you how tightly we're in here. Like you can't even see the water. By the way, there's the green wing passing through. Heading to the gate over there. This is really cool being able to see another ship progress through the, the canal in the opposite direction. There's like a train that runs um, up and down in the middle here. You can see it better from the uh, seventh floor. Very cool. It is hot. So that's the front from the south floor as we enter the second chamber. Okay, I'm walking back through the shops, the trade winds, which are the shopping, the, which is the shopping section. Um, and I'm walking from the front of the seventh floor, came in down there, back to midship, back to the atrium, where Starbucks and um, guest services and... Um, Everything else is located. So yeah, really cool vantage points all over the ship to see what's happening. Good morning. All right. Should I go out here too? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Um, 
step out here. Or on the other side, closer to midship. I'm gonna get another vantage point here of what's happening. So we're inside, inside that first chamber. It's hard to even show you how closely. Closely, we're hugging this thing. Like I don't know if you can even see um, see the water. <laughs> uh, and then here is the wall. I'm about to enter that next chamber. I'm gonna walk down this way a little bit. Ship. You can see the little motor that's pulling us. Oh, and I can get a little shot of the gate. Let's see if I can zoom in and show you guys what I'm talking about. Someone's head's in the way. But there it is. That's the gate. Right there. You can see the water. Again, I'm on seventh floor. I'm walking from the front to midship past Orchid. It's currently closed. And I'm going to head downstairs. See, there are different vantage points from the lower decks. So we're going to head down to six. So in the lower levels, you're going to find that there isn't any outdoor space. I think seventh is the last floor with a deck that you can go outside on. So, um, it's not, you're not really going to see much from down here. I'm still heading, I'm walking towards midship. So over there is Le Bistro. Down there is, uh, Mag, uh, the Magenta dining room. Here's Shakers, Martini Bar. So, heading back towards midship. Currently underneath, right above us is the atrium. And, yeah. Let's go take a look at the menu, because the menu here at Magenta is the same menu that they're going to be serving in the uh, main dining room. So let's go take a look at the uh, let's go take a look at the menu for the day and see what we're looking at. All right, here we go. Coconut shrimp, timing bowls, hummus, shut up. Baked brie salad looks good. And then your classic entrees that are there. Every day. So we got turkey. Paella. Oh, my mom's going to be excited about that. That's like one of her favorite. Ooh, lamb shank. I'm excited about that. I think my mom and dad had the steak yesterday. This grilled New York strip. And they said it was great. So, all right, that's it for dinner. I think I am an anxious to see what that lamb shank um, tastes like. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite meals. All right, let's head on out. So I'm gonna walk this way and we're down on the fifth floor. I'm just gonna walk down one floor here. No need to wait for an elevator. Okay guys, I am back inside of our room, and this is the view outside of our window on the fifth floor. So as you can see, we're looking at the wall, the interior wall of the lock. Um, and you can even see us very slowly rising as the water um, 
me see. It's kind of hard to tell, but we are very, very slowly rising and moving forward as they uh, pour water into the chamber. So yeah, very cool experience. Um, we had to, so uh, if you watched our video yesterday when we went through the events for today, um, during day five in Cartagena, um, we entered and arrived at the lock system at 6.45 ish. You know, these, these times are variable. Well, it depends on traffic, whatever, whatever. We're supposed to be out by 9.10. So Jason and I, Jason set his alarm for 6.15 so that we could be up and out. But, you know, people beat us um, in terms of like getting up, getting ready. People had already had breakfast. They were out there, you know, front of the deck on the railing, coffee in hand, like ready to go. So um, you do have to get up early if you want to get one of those prime spots. But ultimately, I like the flexibility of traveling around the ship and seeing our progress from different viewpoints. Oh yeah, you can see, see us rising. There we go. So yeah. It's very cool to see the progress from different uh, perspectives and viewpoints throughout the ship, but you do have to get up early because by 9.20, 9.30, we're definitely going to be done and in the Gatun Lake. So we will see you in a bit. Hey guys, so I'm back in the Garden Cafe for the buffet for lunch and I'm having um, miso ramen. Um, I just dumped a bunch of vegetables in here. It originally only came with the ramen. So I added um, bok choy, mushrooms, green onions, uh, chili oil, and sambal. And I think this is parsley. So yeah, this is gonna be my lunch for today, pretty light. And we are currently sitting and Gatun Lake with a bunch of other ships and tankers. I'll get a better shot in a minute after I'm done eating so you can see um, what our view is right now. So for dessert, we're gonna try the tiramisu key lime pie and chocolate fudge cake. Yay! And of course, lemonade. Okay, so I'm on the 13th floor in deck and this is Gatun Lake. Us and a bunch of other ships currently moored out here. Just hanging out. And I think we're gonna sit here all day. Um, until we get to Colon this afternoon, sleeping around six o'clock. Okay, and here's a shot from the rear. Of the ship, as you can see, I'm back in front of the tennis courts and the rock climbing wall. And yeah, this is a massive body of water. I was just down that away. But yeah, just hanging out. So they've got activities on board, nothing really interested me. Uh, Jason's just hanging out in the room, I think watching shows on his laptop or whatever, so I'm gonna go see if I can find my pants. The casino is open and we do have internet, so uh, what data is accessible without uh, using the ship's Wi-Fi. So yeah, I'm gonna go see if I can find my family and uh, hang out, I guess, until it's dinner time. Okay, so we're back in Spinnaker Lounge, about to re-enter the locks and head to Cologne, Panama. I came early this time, so I was able to get a decent seat. It's really hot outside. It's hot inside, honestly, at these windows. I wonder when the guy's going to start narrating again.
I can't understand what's happening. Oh, they're throwing stuff. Yeah, I see them throwing lines down there. Here we go. That's a tough job. There we go. Yeah, I think they got it. Oh, no, no, no. He's about to toss it again. Look at this. <laughs> Don't end up in the water. This is this. Be careful. It's discus. Discus throw. You get it? Here we go. He tried to throw it back. Oh, gosh. Here we go. He was going to try and toss it again. Oh, no, he didn't get it. You can tell just by his body language. <laughs> oh, you're still trying to hook up our boat. I think the crew is having a hard time catching the rope. <laughs> oh, bless her hurts. Here we go. Hopefully we know. That is tight. You see how close they are down there? Yeah. They're trying to get the little rope thing secured. Still. Come on. Come on. There we go. That was no, a did. decent throw. Did he catch it? No. <laughs> The guy, I don't know whether it was the guy on the boat or the guy on the land who was throwing water back and forth, has missed, I guess, several times. Here we go. Here's, he's about to throw it. Okay, he's going to throw it the other way. Oh. <laughs> 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 it is short. Oh, God. It is short. Trying to throw it. <laughs> oh, bless their hearts. <laughs> okay, they got that one. Did they get that one? Yeah, it looks like they got one. Uh, they're trying to get us secured to the little train thing so it can pull us. But they can't catch. They keep missing the rope. I think our crew is inside down here trying to catch the little rope. Yeah. And they're having a hard time. That's interesting. I think there'd be a better way to do this, but I guess not. Here we go. Here we go. Did you get it? Did you get it? No. Sorry, I'm just behind you, just in case you stand up. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're fine. She didn't so I know. Uh, it is. They tied to the whole. Here goes another one. And the mule keep 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 noticing. Yeah. Here's the mule. In, in, we're still moving from hitting the side. We they are. Got the tied off. What's he gonna do when? <laughs> I, don't know. I hope we're gonna be okay. Yes. That that's what the mule's supposed to do is keep it. Uh, so, coming in on the side. Move up. Uh, oh, goodness, yes. Come on, guys. Ooh. Lord, y'all should be able to hand it to him now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, it's really close. You know, really, they're on that, on that boat head. Come on, guys. Come on, y'all do this every day. <laughs> Maybe it's his first time he's in training. <laughs> the guy up front is waiting oh, on him to throw it to him. So he's just, oh. Here we go. <gasps> Does he make it? It looks like. No. It looks like. They're looking real sad. Here's another attempt. Somebody else threw it? Yeah. I think he got this one. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got, they got that one. They got one. They got one. Okay, good. That's funny. Oh, the poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Let's see, here come the mules. They got hooked to it. He yeah. says only two more, you guys. They got a It's two. There we go. You'll have to start over again. We're just watching the Algoma no. victory. Take those. Take what? Oh, you want that ship? Come through on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, look. Lord, it's warm. You're booking too. I'm booking through. Mm -hmm. Look how close that ship is to the side of the wall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are the same thing over here. Our lock is finally opening. I guess we don't get, I haven't heard from the historian recently, so I guess he's not going to be narrating our return trip. Yeah, there they go. We're going to be entering the first chamber. No, we're just hanging out waiting for the last to finish up me. Algoma is gone. And, uh, there's one ship ahead of us. So it's like they're just about set to leave as well. And I think there's another ship over there getting ready to enter. Ready to enter on the other side. There we go. There we go. Looks like we can start rolling. Where's our little? There's our little meal. It's it's it is because we're going to the first chamber. We're moving very, very, very slowly. He's not moving yet. Uh, yeah, he's moving. We're moving. Yeah. If you look very at the mule, you can see. Now we We're moving. All right, so we're just hanging out here. That guy's still sitting there, so I'm going to head back to the room now because it's getting really warm where we are. We're sitting on the couch here in the front of the spinnaker lounge. Try 
trying to get you guys a good good shot of the Panama Canal here. Alright guys, so um, not as crowded as this morning, but we are heading back through the canal. So if you miss that early morning um, entry through the canal, you can always um, hang out in Spinnaker in the afternoon and experience the departure. Um, it's really hot outside, so I'd be shocked if folks were braving the heat to try to experience it from the exterior, but maybe. Um, but definitely not as crowded as it was this morning. Alright, I'm going to head back to the room and freshen up. Oh uh, yeah, so I'm in my parents' room, which is right next to ours, and you can see a shot of the interior wall of the locks as we move forward. Very cool. Here we go, making progress. We're ready. As you can see, they've already put out the schedules for tomorrow, day seven, which will be Puerto Limon, Costa Rica. So we will check that out when we get back. Now we're going to head to the dining room for dinner. See you in a bit. All right, so we're at the Grand Pacific Dining Room. They're not open yet. So we're just waiting. Hi, how are you? And then we'll grab a table for four. <clears throat> All right, so we're seated at the rear of the restaurant. And as you can see, the boat is still inside of the lock. Still waiting for the water level to rise. Oh, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, it's really cool. Anywho, here's our menu. For dinner, I gave you a brief preview of this earlier. So I'm going to go with the uh, bakery salad and lamb shank. <coughs> and we'll keep you posted on our progress here. Hello. 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 52 million gallons of water. Give me two. Okay, hold on, Daddy. His booty's up. This is his booty. And his head's down this way. Oh, we got a pretty moth sitting right there. But anywho. We are moving away. Uh, let me zoom out so you can see. We are progressing away from the, uh, from the doors there. So we are moving forward. We've got about an hour to make it to uh, Limon, Panama, which is where we're supposed to be docked today for about an hour and a half. So I think we are in the yeah, I think we are out. I see grass over here, Jason. Oh, she sees grass. Yeah, I think that was the last one. We need to pass this. Let me see if I can get a shot of us exiting. See our little mule there with the little cable lines rolling into the, into the boat. Moving, moving, moving. So hopefully I can get a cool shot of the lock as we exit. Alright, and here we go. It looks like we're about to exit here. Finally. Came quite away from the wall, which is from the lock. Which is way all, all the way down there. Still being pulled out. And I think these are them. I think they're going to go ahead and shut. Right here. Okay, like, these are the locked doors. There you go. See them right there. And then on the other side here. And finally, wow. I think those are locked doors as well, down there. But I think these are the ones that will hopefully close behind us so I can show you that action happening. And it looks like we're finally out. out. 
So that was it. That was the Panama Canal, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, that's it. A little mule there is bringing us on out. All right, our engines have kicked in. We are no longer tethered to our to our little mules there. Our ropes have been unhooked. We're off, and there we go. We're on our way. This is the Brie salad. Oh, thank you. That's Everybody got salad. it. Oh, it is? Brie and cheese, so that's probably what you're in that case for. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. I, I, I thought it was just going to be a bunch of salad and cheese on top. Uh, me too. Same. <laughs> Listen, everything I ought, I think of something else, and it, that surprised me when it comes. All right, Daddy, what did you get? What kind of soup is that? Uh, broccoli. Yeah. Asparagus. Asparagus. Oh. No, cream of broccoli. It was asparagus. asparagus. Uh oh. <laughs> and that's not what I had. Oh, I'm sure you'll like it. I got the spicy meatballs. Beef meatballs. They look good. Yeah, that looks really tasty. All right. No, this is asparagus. These two I are had, arguing over it. I'm sure it's delicious. I had broccoli. So this is the bridge that was built by the French. I saw shots of it from afar earlier today. $320 million, three miles. And it's stunning. Unlike the Bridge of the Americas or whatever it is that the U.S. built for $20 million on the other side, that's so low that you have to wait for a low tide in order for a ship to pass underneath it. Not throwing any shade. I'm just spitting the facts that the historian shared with us earlier. But yeah, I hope I can pick up the details despite the um, condensation on the window here. But yeah, they look stunning. It's coconut shrimp. Yeah, it's, I guess it's fried. Dipped in coconut batter and fried. Okay. Right. I, I assume so, yeah. These All right, went so we hold the, on one uh, second, Daddy. So we've got paella. Everybody got it. I got paella. Very pretty. And I was the sole, sole one who stood out and got the lamb shank. And I also got another of the brie salad because this little sucker is amazing. So good. I'm not a huge fan of the salad because they put honey on it instead of salad dressing. So that's a little odd for me. But this brie empanada, fantastic. All right, guys. So we're going to jump in now and enjoy our dinner. All right, and here we have the Snickers pound cake. And I got another brie salad because this is life. And Jason, what'd you get? I got the no sugar added vanilla cheesecake. All right. Yeah. Should be good. Ralph already tasted it. How was it, Ralph? Yeah, how did you like it? Yeah. All right. So we're going to dive in. Hey, guys. So we are back in the room. This is the end of day six. This was the Panama Canal on the Norwegian Gem. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments, questions, recommendations down below. Tomorrow, day seven, we've got Puerto Limon in Costa Rica. Uh, we will be arriving at 7 a.m., departing at 3.30 p.m., so we've got a full day there. Um, no excursions booked, so we're just going to play it by ear and see what we can get into. Unfortunately, our delay... We were delayed in our departure from the canal due to the drought that's going on here. So we arrived late for our port of call for today, which was Limon, Panama. So they literally just opened the doors to let people disembark. And they have all of 30 minutes to see, port, to see Limon, um, Panama, before we got to go. So... Um, I was down there with my mom. We didn't need, you're like, yeah, no, we're not getting off. <laughs> this is too stressful. 
So, um, to turn around and get back on, like, it's just, it's, there's no point. So we're just going to play it cool tonight, hang out here, relax after dinner. And, uh, tomorrow, hopefully we'll be able to get into some stuff once we get to Costa Rica. So we will see. Hey guys, one other thing to bear in mind from today, um, pay attention to the canal transit times. Everyone is going to get up, well not everyone, but a good bit of the folks on the boat are going to get up at the butt crack of dawn in order to see the initial entry into the locks, which is scheduled around 6.45, right? Um, and then of course you enter uh, Gatun Lake and you sit there and chill out for a while and then you exit. You will have the same experience at 145 as you re-enter the locks and depart to head to Cologne. So if you do not want to get up at the butt crack and fight crowds for coffee and space, um, you can wait until, you know, 1.30-ish in the afternoon and get, again, the same experience with fewer people um, and less stress probably in the afternoon. So I would highly, if I had to do this all over again, I would have just waited and gotten, gotten our, our footage here and had this experience. So highly recommend that as a quick tip for those who aren't excited about this. But hey, if this is, if this is your jam, then make sure that you arrive early. So if they're scheduled to arrive the locks at 645, then you want to be in the Spinnaker Lounge or you want to be, you know, at the glass on deck 13 or at the rail on deck 14 by probably 6 a.m., you know, marking your spot. So tip for the day. Hope you enjoyed it. See you there, hopefully. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on another episode of Honest Try TV.